Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 1. Now this video series is an extension of my modding Fallout New Vegas tutorial series with one or two small differences. Now the main difference between this series and my previous one is aims. The aims of this series are not to teach you how to mod, um, I'm going to assume you know that now, but to let you know some of the great mods that are out there, um, some of the advantages to them, and how to set them up, how to use them, how to get the most out of them. Now, I am going to assume that you have either worked through the eight-part video series I made previously, or you have the required skills those videos uh, should have given you. Um, basically, I'm going to assume you're pretty good at modding your game fairly heavily and can handle uh, some, some fairly complex mods. And the first mod I'm going to cover is the New Vegas Stutter Remover. Now, if you watched the, uh, the previous series I made, there was one video, part 7, which uh, went into how to improve performance. And I wanted to include the New Vegas Stutter Remover in that video because the New Vegas Stutter Remover is an excellent mod that, uh, to improve your performance. But it was not working at the time because New Vegas Script Extender had been updated and that mod needs to be changed each time New Vegas Script Extender is, is updated. Now, after quite an absence, that mod author is back, and so once again, NVSR is updated and ready to go. Now, this mod does a little bit more than just remove stutters. Um, it's generally, uh, it has quite a few extra little features, most of which I have not explored in Fallout. But the primary aim is to remove those stutters. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the game suffers from two types of stutter. The first is load stutter. This is where the game freezes for half a second, maybe a little longer, every now and again because it's loading new things as you move. The other one, uh, which is actually even more annoying, is something I always call micro stutter and is known as the 64 hertz bug. Some of you may not notice it in game, but it is actually something that hits every single game. It's, it's a bug in the engine itself, um, and it's actually existed since Oblivion, which is a little annoying. However, the stutter remover has been around since Oblivion 2, and it works beautifully. So, we're going to install that now. The first thing to do is go to the New Vegas Stutter Remover page, I'll include the link, and download that file. Um, save that to your machine. So we need the data folder. If I open up the zip file, the New Vegas Stutter Remover came with, you'll notice a file called New Vegas Stutter Remover.dll. What you're going to need to do is add a folder to your data folder called NVSE. You may actually have one already. If not, you need to make it NVSE. Inside there, you need to make a folder called Plugins. And then you simply copy this DLL file that you downloaded into that place. So that's inside data in NVSE Plugins. You simply stick that DLL. That's as simple as that. Uh, the full instructions can be found on the Stutter Remover page. Here you go, down here, so it's dead easy, but it is a little different to normal because you don't put it straight in the data folder. Now one other thing we need is an ini file for this mod. Uh, now you're not going to make it yourself, the easy way is to auto generate this and to do that you simply run the game. It's that easy, you run the game, as soon as you get to the main menu hit exit and it's been made a 
And there we have the ini file we need. If I edit that, there are a lot of variables. You could play with this if you wish uh, to see what everything does, but um, I recommend basically leaving it alone until you know what you're doing. The two things that are of major importance to you are, first of all, the bfix 64 hertz line, as you can see here, which is set to 1. That is the stutter remover. That needs to be set to 1. The next thing that might be of interest to you is the B manage FPS. And that is currently set as 1. Now, what that variable does is it lets the stutter remover manage your frames per second. So, if you go along to the FPS management section, you will notice several other variables. And the one I draw your attention to is maximum FPS. What this does is it stops your system uh, going over that FPS. It basically caps your FPS at 30. So no matter how many frames per second you can get, you never go over that number. Now, I have a 120 hertz monitor, so I could change it to 120. Oh, excuse me. Be careful not to do that. Change just the number. So now I've changed it to the maximum FPS can be 120. But I might want to set it lower. The thing is, is the game's frame rate tends to vary for me. It varies from about 55 to up to 120 because that's the maximum I can get. And for a lot of people, the sudden shift in frame rate can be kind of annoying. It can, it can be a little disturbing. So, for example, I could set it at 60 and then the game would stay more or less at 60 frames per second and never change. Now, I actually prefer about 80. Um, I mean, if I could get 120, I would, but if I hit 80, then my frame rate tends to stay between about 60 and 80, and I don't notice it, uh, which is great. And I don't change anything else. And then I save it. Now, don't worry if you do something horribly wrong and you damage this ini file. Don't worry, because if you delete the ini file and start up the game and then quit the game, it makes a brand new ini file for you as if it was in newly installed. So don't worry if you do that. But that is it. I have now installed the stutter remover and patched it. So I can now start the game. So here we are in game. And as you can see, the stutter is very much reduced. Now, you may be wondering, can you use this stutter remover with the 4GB enabler or in Windows mode, for example, as I suggested in part 7 of my tutorials? And the answer is yes, that's in fact how I use it. So I'll start that now and show you. I'll change it to windowed mode. And then I'll run from the Fallout full screen executable. If you don't know what I'm doing here, see part 7 of my tutorials uh, and it explains it perfectly. Uh, but I get a massive performance boost playing this way. Now with stutter remover and 4GB enabled and full screen windows, I get absolutely no stutter whatsoever. It may be hard to see on the video because I've locked the frame rate at 30 frames a second. Um, but what I'm seeing in game is very, very nice indeed. Very, very smooth. And a great improvement. And that is it for this video. Uh, the New Vegas Stutter Remover. Great little mod. Hope it helps you. My next video is going to involve some of my own mods, the Advanced Recon series, which is a series of mods aimed mostly at players who like stealth, sniping, etc. It has a lot of cool features like thermal night vision, detect traps, and quite a lot more. So, join me for that if you're interested.